Hi, welcome to Tasmania. Out here is some of the most pristine wilderness in the world. It's calm, it's peaceful, and it's one of the most incredible things you'll ever see. Whether it's a short day walk or a few days long, over the next few minutes, we'll show you how to walk safely and enjoy your time in the Tasmanian wilderness. But while it's beautiful, it can also be brutal. And when the weather changes, it can be deadly. 29 year old lost his way in heavy clouds. Hopes are fading. With conditions too tough for the rescue chopper. We've been searching from dusk yesterday. Search was called off due to bad weather. The rescue helicopter called to recover the bodies yesterday. Indications show the walkers weren't sufficiently equipped. Careful planning is essential. Know your way and walk within your capabilities. Study maps and route guides and seek advice from experienced bushwalkers or local parks and wildlife staff before you go about track conditions. If your bag is full of unnecessary stuff, you'll be carrying a heavier load than you need to. Bring a jacket, headwear and gloves. Things that are warm, waterproof and windproof. If you're walking overnight, bring a tent. There's no guarantee that there'll be a bed available in the hut. It might be full or bad weather might prevent you from reaching the hut before nightfall. In terms of footwear, leave the thongs at home. Sturdy boots are your best option. Make sure that you choose a sturdy backpack. As a general rule, about a third to a quarter of your body weight is a comfortable carrying load for most people. And don't leave essential gear behind to save weight. You'll risk being in danger when weather conditions change. You might start off on a lovely sunny day but it can change quickly and conditions can become harsh and unforgiving. And when that happens, it's incredibly easy to get lost. The tracks simply disappear and you can barely see your own hand in front of your face. Snow, rain, wind and sun can occur at any time of the day, even in the summer. Avoid walking alone. When you're on your own, there are just too many risks. So try to walk in a party of at least three or more, especially in remote areas and consider taking one of these, a personal locator beacon, or PLB. Let a reliable friend or family member know your plans before you walk and ensure that they know what to do or who to call if you don't make it back safely and on time. And remember to let them know that you've made it home safely at the end. Remember, you're trusting this person with your life. If anything goes wrong, they're the ones that will alert police to the fact that you're missing. Record your intentions in logbooks at the start of the walk and along the way. Logbooks are not checked regularly. These will only be checked if you're reported overdue or missing, so don't forget to sign out at the end. You really need to be able to change your plans or adapt your itinerary to suit the conditions and allow yourself time to turn back if the weather gets bad or the walk is more difficult than you'd expected. So that's it. We want you to have fun, but please be safe and above all, don't underestimate just how difficult these walks can become. It's really important not to push yourself beyond your limits. We want you and future generations to be able to come back and enjoy the Tasmanian wilderness again and again.